Nsiki Mezwe details a shocking story about how prominent American rappers men handled her over alcohol. Nsiki Mezwe detailed a shocking story about how big American rappers men handled her over alcohol. Mezwe was at a big hip-hop festival called Back to the City that took place on Sunday. The festival attracted big American hip-hop artists, including Mr. Cheeks and Keith Murray. Hip-hop lovers who know these names. Mezwe says she was sitting at the VIP lounge when she ran into Mr. Cheeks at the VIP bar and everything was okay and they were taking pictures. Firstly she says as she was busy talking to me Cheeks, his friend came and tried to degrade her saying disgusting words about her to Mr. Cheeks and he just looked on as if nothing was happening. After a few minutes Keith Murray who is also a famous American rapper from a group called The Lost Boys was brought to her table by the same American who was throwing profanities at her. He then saw a bottle of expensive brandy that Nsiki and her crew were drinking. He asked to have the drink and Nsiki says as a sign of good faith she agreed thinking he was going to pour it in a glass and have a sip. But he took it to the rapper's table with Mr. Cheeks and they drank almost all of the brandy through the mouth passing it around. The trouble started when Nsiki started to ask for her bottle of alcohol back and then when she tried to grab it. She was manhandled and grabbed by Murray. Nsiki says this all took place as other people looked on and didn't intervene. It doesn't end there. The poet says that the Americans started to apologize when they realized that they messed up and attempted to pay a 20 for a bottle worth a 1000. The musician says that she was horrified at the level of poverty that the rappers were showing but also how they treated her for her alcohol. In Siki days she was shocked at stars she enjoyed since her childhood was acting so ghetto and actually destroying their brand with their South African fans. She says the Murray guy also manhandled another camera woman and she says that she is concerned for the women in these men's lives. Mazwe says the rappers were acting broke and that lowered their value and mostly they were taking advantage of the South Africans because they were feeling superior. The final word from Mazwe is she is no longer a fan of those rappers, so they have lost a loyal South African fan who is also a great artist in her own right. Leave your comments in the comment video below. Don't forget to share with your family and friends.